Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Basics. I'm Dan from the Another Bourbon Show podcast. Uh, today, I want to spend just a few minutes talking about the importance of barrels when it comes to bourbon. Now, I can't spend too much time talking about the, the barrels for uh, an aged rum or an aged tequila, etc. Um, and the reason for that is because all of those other types of liquors, they just have so many options available to them when it comes to the barrel. But the nice thing about bourbon is that in order for a whiskey to be bourbon, it has to be aged in a never before used charred oak barrel. Now, technically, bourbon could be barreled inside of a never before used charred French oak barrel or a charred English oak barrel. But almost 100% of the time, a bourbon is going to get aged inside of a never before used charred American white oak barrel. There's a couple reasons for that. Um, one of the reasons is availability, uh, but that's not the primary reason. The primary reason we'll get into in just a minute. But but the barrel is important to understand for a for a bourbon lover. Um, because around 60 to 65% of the flavors that you get when you take a sip of bourbon comes from the barrel that it was in. And the single most de important determining factor on what flavors you get when you take that sip are determined by the char level that the barrel went through. So a barrel gets created by a cooper. It gets formed up and, and created into the shape of a barrel. Before that barrel gets closed up, the inside of that barrel gets exposed to an intense high level of heat. The length of time that that barrel is exposed to that heat determines what char level it's at. Typically, a barrel is going to be at char level 1, 2, 3, or 4. Char level 1 means that that barrel was exposed to that high heat for about 15 seconds. Uh, level 2 char, about 30 seconds, level 3 char, somewhere in the range of 35 to 45 seconds, and a level 4 char tells you that, that that barrel has been exposed to that heat for about 55 seconds. Now, the char levels do continue to go up. There's a level 5, 6, 7, etc., um, but they're pretty uncommon within the bourbon world, though I can tell you that uh, not too long ago, Heaven Hill released a um, bottle of their Parker's Heritage that used a char level five. Um, I know that a while back, Buffalo Trace did an experimental uh, release uh, that they had a char level seven, um, but those are fairly in uncommon. Um, quite often, you're going to find that the barrels are at a char level one, two, three, or four. So the reason for that char, it does a couple different things to the whiskey that you put inside of it. Uh, first of all, uh, that high level of heat, uh, it creates a charcoal layer within the inside of that barrel. Uh, you might be familiar with the fact that charcoal is an excellent filter. If you use a Brita water filter or if your refrigerator has uh, water that that uses a filter, there's a good chance that the majority of the filter that you're using is actually just charcoal. Uh, so on the with with bourbon, that charcoal layer on the inside, it helps filter the the, the whiskey itself. Um, so if that whiskey picked up any contaminants during the distillation process, uh, that charcoal filter is going to remove them. Uh, it's going to help create a, a cleaner, more uh, mellow whiskey. Um, just from interacting with that charcoal. Um, and then of course, once the once it has been aged, it's gonna be filtered once again. Um, however, that charcoal on the inside really helps that filtration process. But more importantly, is what that char level does to the flavor of what you're drinking and what you're pouring into a glass. So one of the compounds that is exists in pretty much all wood is there's a quite a few obviously but one of those compounds that exists once it's exposed to heat it produces sugar once it has become sugar exposing it to additional heat creates caramel one of the other compounds that's in wood when you heat it it creates vanilla and that's a big reason why so many bourbons have a very strong caramel and vanilla flavor. And it just so happens 
that the type of wood that has the highest levels of those compounds is American white oak, which is the primary reason why it's used. If French oak or English oak produced a better flavor, you can be certain that these distilleries would ship in that wood in order to produce a better product. But in reality, American white oak produces that flavor that bourbon lovers tend to gravitate towards and that makes bourbon such an iconic whiskey. So, um, so that's important to you as a bourbon connoisseur, because if you pour yourself a glass and you find yourself consistently gravitating towards a bourbon that has a really strong caramel and vanilla profile, that tells you that you prefer bourbon that's aged in a barrel with a high level of char. So what that tells you is that if you uh, do some Google searches, you'll be able to find out you'll, you'll be able to get access to the, the different bourbons that are barreled at a char level four. If on the other hand, you're drinking something and you're picking up more of a honey type of a flavor that tells you that that bourbon was aged in a barrel that had a lower char level. Um, and if you find yourself gravitating towards those honey types of flavors, then again, you can use that to your advantage to help yourself pick out bottles that you're more likely to enjoy. Now, occasionally I like something that's not quite as sweet. Sometimes I like a bourbon that's a little sweeter. Um, but it really is in your best interest to know your preferences and be able to figure out how those preferences translate over to bottles that you haven't tried yet. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I hope it was interesting to you. Uh, if it was great, if it wasn't, please let me know how I can make them more entertaining and more interesting to you. Uh, if you're more interested in the whole distillation process, check out episodes one, two, th or three of Bourbon Basics. If you've got a little bit of extra time, uh, I encourage you to watch a full episode of another bourbon show. Uh, they are a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, either way, if you've got questions, comments, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day and enjoy yourself.